you ever notice how most people don't really talk about the good things they do or the good things they see? They always talk about like, oh, I had the worst time or I had the worst sandwich at McDonald's the other day. You would not believe what I had to put up with. So very rare to actually have a conversation with someone and them going like, so yeah, yesterday uh, I went down after work to the uh, soup kitchen and I actually helped out a lot of the homeless people with their food last night. It was a really awesome time. Yeah, I saw some really great people and I felt really fulfilled after that. That would almost never ever happen. And I think it's mostly due with the fact that we're taught from such an early age, at least in my family, this might be more indicative of me than it is of anybody else, but Meh. I think it's because at a very early age we're taught that when we do something nice, when we actually lend a helping hand, that that is supposed to be good enough, that we're supposed to be fulfilled by doing something really awesome for somebody, that we shouldn't be asking for anything else. Well, screw that! Let's say I want to be the type of person who's like, yeah, helped up some homeless people last night. Pretty awesome. I'm a pretty awesome person. Guess what though? Also have large shoes. <laughs> you know? You know, I don't want to be that person at all, but I think that a lot of times we focus on so many negatives in a daily life that it would be nice every once in a while to have just a conversation where it's like, here's some nice things we did this week and we're not asking for anything but having that person, having that time to actually go through, hey, here's some good things, and I have some faith in humanity restored. I remember a couple winters ago, I was leaving work, and I noticed that there was a lady right beside me who was having troubles with her car, wasn't starting up at all. We tried to do a jump start, and that didn't work either, so there was something more egregiously wrong with her car than just a dead battery. So, she had no way to get home, and I offered a ride to her to take her back to her place. Yes, it was a little bit out of my way, but I said, you know what, whatever. I'll do it anyways because I, if I was in that situation, that is what I would want to happen. And I told her straight up, I mean, if you do not want to get in a car with a crazy weirdo guy, that is perfectly fine. But if you are willing, I will drive you home if you want me to. So she agreed and I took her home and she was very thankful and I was all great and everything. It wasn't at all that I wanted people to be fawning all over me like, oh, you're such a great person. What I wanted to do was I just wanted to say, hey, this is what I did the other day. Maybe you could think of doing something nice too in your life. Because everybody else but me is terrible. Which is obviously the point that I'm trying to make is that people are terrible. But if we say nice things, if we try and promote the good things that people actually do, I do think that that would have a positive effect. Or maybe I'm just absolutely crazy. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Should nice things be said more nowadays or should we just keep all that stuff bottled up inside into ourselves? Also, what a nice thing would be to do, subscribe and like.